All right, we're going to talk about editing in Container Component. So I am on a park. I have the detail open. I'm going to go into the Components tab. Nothing new here. This is what's been available in terms of view for a while now. I'm actually going to switch over to the View Layers panel. You'll notice I have 10, 11, whatever the number of layers here are that correspond to the available assets that can be connected, or I should say are connected, and the numbers that indicate that, uh, how, which ones are connected. But I also have this Edit Components button up at the top here. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. <clears throat> and when I do, you'll notice that the map updates to reflect the assets that are possible connections now. My Layers panel seems to have doubled. More on that in a moment. But I also have two tabs above the grid. Components, things that are connected to the park, and available assets, things that are uh, available to connect to that park and only those asset types that are possible connections exist in this list. We're going to go ahead and, and uh, take a look at how to add some components as well as remove some components. So you'll notice I also have, if I expand this filter layers here, two options for checkboxes for components and available assets. If I turn off available assets for just a moment, I'm only looking at things that are associated with the park. Pay attention to these three right here for just a moment. We'll address those in a, in a later step. But as I turn this available assets on and the components off, now I'm only looking at things that are not associated with that park. For clarity, I'm going to now go through, turn the components on, turn all of the layers off, and just focus on trees. If I scroll to the bottom, I'll turn the park on so I can see that. I'll turn the trees that exist in the park on so I can see those, and then I'll turn the trees that do not exist in the park yet. And as I toggle on and off the components that exist, you'll notice a couple of things here. These, tr these trees exist in the park, and these trees don't exist in the park, but should be. So we'll leave it like this for a moment. I'm going to zoom in just a hair. I'm going to go to my map tool and do a polygon select. And I'm going to start selecting everything here. Oops. OK, now I've got a bunch of stuff selected. I want to make sure that I'm on the available assets. I'm going to go to show selected. And there are 18 assets that I can associate to the park. Now from the actions menu, I can just simply say add to container. I'll get a nice toast message that tells me that those assets have been added. Furthermore, they're gone, which sort of tells me it worked because I have the components associated turned off. If I turn that back on, you can see they all pop in and off. All right. The other thing I was going to show you is that if I turn off the assets that are available, I see these trees that are connected to the park, but it doesn't look like they belong. So we'll go through and I'll show you how to get rid of those. I can either use the polygon select that I just did, or in this case, I'll just individually select each of the trees here. Come back to components in this case, because those are added. I'll turn off the park. I don't need that one. And then I'll go to actions and remove from container. Ask me, are you sure? I'll go ahead and say yes. Now those trees are removed. And again, as soon as I turn on the available assets, they'll pop back in. Those are the three trees. I hope that helps. Thank you.